Welcome back to In La Cocina in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Mike Gonzalez. We are back in Sandpoint, Idaho. This is one of my favorite places that we've ever highlighted on the show. We did it several months back over at Oishi, and now they've got the new spot right next door, the dive. I'm with Junior Solis, the owner. We are glad to be back, man. Glad to have you. Man, it was awesome. You guys got a lot of good feedback from the show. I we know, did, we did. Was, I know uh, you guys were excited about feedback. it. feedback. My friends and family in Spokane cool. loved it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we're excited to be back because your Latin Asian fusion is just rocking. Everybody loved it. We got great feedback on our side as well. So we're in the dive, which is the spot that you were working on that we highlighted last time. Describe this place because it has such a friendly feel. The minute I walked in, I was like, wow, this place is really cool. Well, you know, my partner and I, um, we both have families uh -huh. and we're always looking for a place or something to do with our kids. Uh, my kids, every time I take them to a restaurant, it's yeah. arms off the table. I know you <laughs> So I want a place where families can go, take their kids, have birthday parties, but yeah. not, you know, have to worry about their kids making a mess on making the floor. A, I know. know exactly what you mean, because I've got my six-year-old Dino, who is legendary. That's the first thing I thought when I walked mm -hmm. in this place. I'm like, this is a place that my son Dino cannot destroy. Exactly. And in the summertime, we head to yeah. Silverwood, or head, in the wintertime, we do go to um, Triple Play, but it ends up costing an arm and a leg. So right. we're like, we want a place where families can come, have cheap food. Uh -huh. Cheap drinks and free fun. And so that's what we developed here. A lot, lot of neat things. You've got the pool tables. Uh, you've got the bull, which they've discouraged me from riding. But you know, you, when you come here, you have to ride the bull. I love the fact. Talk about the upstairs a little bit too, because uh, you've got all that. The upstairs we have a full wraparound mezzanine, and we've continued to play throughout the whole um, outline of the building. Now, and uh, during Prohibition, the upstairs was actually a hidden floor where they had a speakeasy. We've oh, converted wow. all that and uh, preserved the 100-year-old wood beams and the 100-year-old uh -huh. wood floor and brought in some old barn wood. And we've continued the game throughout. So you have a shuffleboard, you have skee-ball, uh -huh. ping pong. I noticed uh, the kids are up there playing a little. What is that, Madden? on a 15-foot Xbox screen. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, you I have know. air hockey, <laughs> you have video games. It's you know, just fun throughout the whole place. And I love the fact that we could throw peanuts on the floor because yeah. this is a big part of it, right? The ambiance of it. Talk about the peanuts a little bit because it's kind of cool. The peanuts on the floor is we kind of wanted that uh, hometown nostalgic yeah. kind of, uh, you know, country bar feel. Uh -huh. You know, where you can go, you don't have to worry about kicking the mud off your boots and you don't have to worry about, yeah. you know, dropping something on the floor. If your kid spills a drink, hey, we'll clean it up. It's not a big deal. Very cool. And I know um, it's re really family oriented here, uh, you know, but at night, you, you guys, uh, I think Friday nights is one of your biggest nights for adults and, you know, you guys have dancing and all that good stuff. So describe what goes on here for adults. Uh, you know, every night after 10 o'clock, uh, we do a strictly 21 and over crowd. Uh -huh. And on Friday nights, we bring in this awesome little DJ named Bonnie T. Breaks. And she's about five foot tall, uh -huh. but and she rocks a seven <laughs> foot tall person. We have her suspended in the air, um, I don't know, close to, yeah, I noticed that. Feet. So that's where she kicks it from, and, that uh, little ledge. We clear off the dance floor, and it's usually packed in there. I mean, Friday nights, when right. it gets crazy, we open up the garage doors, and oh. we, we fill the place. Hispanic Food Network will be here to check it out. You know, we have to do our research, so we promise we'll be back on a Friday night because we got to bring you that B-roll, no doubt about it. Let's uh, talk about a little bit about Next Door, Oishi. Um, wonderful place. You guys do the Latin Asian fusion. How have things been going over there? Uh, things are great. You know, one thing about, about Oishi and what we wanted to establish with the dive also is community support. Uh -huh. Without community support, you cannot make it in a small town. I mean, our population here is 5,000 people. Yeah. Without community support, uh, support, we can't really make it. We do get an increased uh, clientele during the summertime with a lot of the tourists that come in. But most of what, you know, the, the backbone of our business is the community. Yeah, and the locals. locals huh? uh, you know, we're still getting the same great fish, still have the same great uh -huh. recipes. We've just added to the total business and total building. Awesome. Well, speaking of the food at Oishis, we're going to head into the kitchen and see what they've got new. In Idaho, we are in the Oishi kitchen with Junior Solis. He does it all here. He owns it. He cooks. I mean, you even bark at You even paint into the walls and stuff. Painting, you? whatever I need I to know. do. He does it all, man. He is hands on. So uh, for people that have just are just started watching the show, tell us a little bit about what Oishi is about if they don't know. Oishi is, what I like to say, the taste of San Diego. San uh -huh. Diego is my hometown. And, you know, two great things about San Diego other than the beach and SeaWorld and whatnot is the fact that you can have great sushi yeah. and you have great tacos. Usually you can't have them together, but they're on the same block. So uh, what I did is I incorporated both ideas. Uh, we have uh, we're, we have great sushi, and we have uh, famous tacos. 
Some of our tacos do incorporate sushi elements. Some of them do incorporate other elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tuna ceviche taco. Ooh, sounds um, good. Start out with some great tuna. We got some good uh, Sergio corn tortillas. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start making Okay, it. we're going to start with about three ounces of tuna. I'll lightly cube that up. Do that. And get out some nice fresh pico de gallo. Squeeze the lime. Pinch of salt. I'll go ahead and blend that up. Set that aside, let it marinate. Get a little bit of this uh, slaw going. Just take some cabbage. A little jalapeno creme fraiche. More lime. Go ahead and blend that up. Take a couple of my nice fresh Sergio tortillas. Lay them down. Spoon in some of this tuna ceviche mixture. Nice big chunks of tuna. Top it with the slaw. And these aren't those little skimpy tacos. These are, uh, you know, it takes two hands to handle kind of taco. We'll go ahead and put some avocado on top. Top with the chipotle aioli. Throw a lime wedge on the side. And there you have it. Those are our tuna ceviche tacos. Now, I'm hoping okay, that's going to do it for this edition of In La Cocina. We want to thank our host, Junior Solis from Oishi here. Also, the dive next door, a lot of fun. So the next time you're in Sandpoint, please check it out. Both places are absolutely wonderful. The food here is wonderful. Hey, want to give a quick thanks to Dwight Finney, who had a real hard time spending all that fun in South Florida filming. But, man, wasn't that awesome? Cuban sandwiches, everything else. So, Dwight, thanks a lot. Okay, only thing... Left to do is to eat my tuna ceviche taco. Adios, everybody. Thanks for watching in La Cocina.